every year like 30 40 people are die here with elephants so i'm thinking how we can minimize this human and elephant conflicts so that's why i'm thinking to preserve from elephant fabric plants like a uh, elephant crust elephant apple bamboo and whatever i can do for them and lots of the grasses i'm planning to grow continuing maybe it will take long it's like a journey begins this is my tea garden and instead of growing tea tea everywhere i keep like a small part of area is like as a jungle and when all the elephants came from the mountain bhutan mountain actually they are always traveling one place to another places and after 15 days 20 days interval they visit in my farm so i never used any herbicide and pesticide and i i am not using any fence so when animal come down the freely they can roam everywhere they love to eat lots of grass water bamboo banana elephant love this banana very much so i'm growing some time banana so when they came and in the night so they found some banana then happy they're very happy so elephant came to take water here just four or five days ago it elephant was came here and when they will come if i will now i'm going to grow bamboo this is bamboo tree bamboo plant so elephant love the bamboo very much so i'm happy to grow bamboo yeah it's interesting to work in organic farm and many farmer loves to work in my garden because this is completely organic farm so i never used any pesticide after using the pesticide even you cannot breed properly sometimes workers also feel vomiting headaches nauseous and it's very harmful for health only the organic farming is the way to save our earth or our nature it's the best this is the yeah i'm thinking like that this is all my land and all my garden this is all my farm yeah even i love to see the wild animals yeah i grow for them too